Did your daughter get asked to the dance? Or did she end up asking someone? You know what that means is boutonniere time. I'm gonna show you how to make a boutonniere for less, so keep on watching. Here's all the supplies that I'm using today to make the boutonniere. I'm going to start off with the leaves. Decide how many leaves you want and cut it off the stem. I start off with two, then I added another one later on. So a total of three leaves that I'm using for this project. Grab the floral wire near the bottom of the leaf. Stick the wire into the leaf. Provide a good amount of extra wire and fold the wire in half. Use the wire cutter to cut the wire. Next, wrap the floral tape around the wire. As I'm wrapping, I'm making sure the leaves are folded towards the front. Make sure the floral tape covers the wire. Now I'm making the decorative ribbon that I'm adding to the boutonniere. This is optional. Make a loop. The shorter length is on top. Grab the longer length. Go over the thumb. Bring it towards the back of the loop. Grab the ends of the longer end. Put it through the first loop. Then the second loop. Pull. Adjust the loop size according to your preference. Grab the wire. Put the wire into the knot of the ribbon. Fold it in half. Wrap the floral tape around the wire. Thereafter, I'm going to wrap the rosebud. Same process, cut the bud, grab the floral wire, stick it into the bud. Wrap the floral tape around the wire. Make sure the beginning of the floral tape you are tucking it in. I try not to touch the rose as I'm wrapping because you can possibly bruise the petals on the rose. Now I'm playing around with the boutonniere to see how I want it to look like. I cut the baby's breath. The wire on the rosebud wasn't as strong, so I fold the wire in half, then wrap it with floral tape. I'm still playing around with the boutonniere, making adjustments until I'm happy with it. This seriously took a while. <laughs> Thereafter, I wrap the floral tape around the leaves, baby's breath, and the ribbon first. Then I add the rosebud and wrap it in the floral tape again. Cut the boutonniere to the desirable length and make sure the wires are covered with the floral tape so there is nothing sharp poking anyone. Finally, I'm adding the finishing touches and adding the ribbon to the stem of the boutonniere. I fold the ribbon in half, glue the middle of the ribbon to the bottom of the stem. Wrap the ribbon up the shaft, crisscrossing it.
and tie a bow at the top of the shaft. I like doing the bunny ears bow. Here's what it looks like. It's so pretty. I preserve it in a container like a Tupperware container with no lid, spray it with water, and put it on the side of the fridge until it's time to go to the dance. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY, hair, makeup, pretty much everything I do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.